Hi, Adrian from Groundhog here. Going to be talking to you about the social proof extension. So if you're familiar with uh, software out there such as Use Proof or Get Proof or, or Social Proof or, or any of those kind of, uh, they show a little pop-up in the bottom left-hand corner saying X person just bought X and they're from Colorado, Arizona, somewhere in the world that you aren't. Uh, those are actually uh, quite popular and are proven to get better conversions uh, specifically for products of which have little trust. For example, uh, this is your first time on an e-commerce website and you're not sure if it's legit, but you see other people currently purchasing products from that site and you want to uh, provide a sort of a trust factor for people who may not be as familiar with your business as others. So in order to kind of create that trust, uh, they use the proof plugin and, and we have, uh, or we don't want you to go have to pay the $20 a month fee for those. Uh, and we're just going to provide you a relatively inexpensive uh, emulation of that. That's also much easier to set up and uh, a lot more flexible. So let's jump into it. So I have a form right here. Um, and I don't have uh, proof set up on this page, and we're going to set it up later. But I'm going to just, uh, for the pur purposes of an example, I am just going to fill out this form quickly with my information. Click Submit. It's going to take me to a thank you page that doesn't exist, but that's fine. And now uh, I actually have, uh, you can see that if I refresh this uh, in a couple minutes, it'll actually show that I've completed it, although it's not going to show it right now. It actually shows that uh, I've filled it out and that I'm just waiting to receive uh, my email is what actually is showing at the moment. Um, but we're going to head over to the proof page of the plugin. So as soon as you install the plugin, it's going to show this proof menu item underneath the main Groundhog menu. Just click on that and it'll bring you to the setup screen. And all of the settings that you're going to need in order to set up your proof are just in the left hand side here and your proofs that already exist will show up over here. So let's just give it a name and we're just going to call it example. And we need to add some URLs to display this pay or to display, sorry, uh, this proof on. So I'm just going to go back to, I'm going to display it on this page. So I'm just going to copy that URL. I'm going to paste the whole URL uh, in here just to make sure that it works properly. And then I'm going to select the benchmark that I want to show it for. So uh, you can select any benchmark in any funnel. And I'm going to select the form filled benchmark uh, that I just filled out. So this form is a benchmark and I'm going to select that anybody that submitted that form, I want to show this proof for. And then I am going to set the message and the message accepts replacement code. So I can say first, last, or just first, or uh, I'm going to say just first, just filled this form. And then I can set the uh, the time range. So the number of days to go back. So you can set it to 10. You can set it to 30 if you want to include an entire month. I'm just going to set it to 30. The time interval between proof displaying. So you can, if you want it to be 10 seconds or 5 seconds, uh, you can use this number to change that. Let's just set it for 5 seconds. And then you can choose which side you want it to appear on the left or the right. And whether or not you want it to show on mobile. So I'm just going to click add new proof. And there we go. Our proof is now there. Uh, and now if we go to this page and we refresh it, we should see a proof showing up relatively soon. Uh, let's just make sure that everything gets run. There we go. And now, wait for it. Wait for it. But uh, Adrian just filled this form three minutes ago powered by Groundhog. So that is the proof extension in a nutshell, super simple, and it works retroactively. So if you install this and you don't want to have to include new, um, or you want to include previous submissions and not just new submissions, it works retroactively. So any previous submissions will also be included uh, in the message as well. All right, so that about covers it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us in live chat on our Facebook group or on our Contact Us page or at info at groundhog.io. Thank you for spending the time with me, and I hope you have a great day.